Hello everyone, and today we're going to take a look at the RU251, known as the best possible light tank in the game, maybe, uh, in terms of just a light tank. Uh, now, you probably know that in the eSports games, the T54 lightweight is commonly used much more than any other light tank. Well, again, I heard that the RU is better than the T54 Lite, but because T54 Lite has armor and everything else, uh, it is just better for you know controlled aggressiveness rather than the RU. Because RU, everyone can fire a HE at you and pen you, but in a random battle, it doesn't really matter. And this IS7 totally clipped me. I was trying to move on the right, but I couldn't because I was totally clipped in position. This AMX of being a douche, uh, clipping me again. Uh, but never mind, uh, we're not going to shoot him. Since I've learned the lesson the hard way. Uh, and you can see the enemy team have very strong players, the 50B and the e E5. And I, I know that from the beginning I have to be able to play a massive role in this uh, tank to be able to carry the team. Uh, and also we need to deal with the E5 and the 50B re with relative quickness before they demolish our team. I tried that to, to attack the 50B, but didn't really get a good angle to be honest. So, again, that shot on the four M41 Bulldog was pretty bad. Um, trying to lead it, but he turned in time, so I, I fired at the wrong position. But never mind. Again, tried to poke there. I'm not sure if I get spotted. I don't think so. So, uh, again, I, I have to play quite aggressively but also don't want to get myself killed have to play a significant role in carrying this team uh, so you can see the 30 90 down there was trying to spot on our entire team uh, but I just basically destroyed his plan to do so because right now he, he must be pissed because I have literally uh, controlled that this region here where he cannot uh, scout anymore and this would prove very very uh, difficult for him now to be stuck in that location down there he cannot really spot our, our team while I have their whole team spotted and they are now actually on the back foot because before they had the 30, 30 90 spotting everyone now I'm here just demolishing them really uh, didn't squeeze in a shot in the 30 90 they are quite unlikely um, but before I, I slammed the HE round, if you didn't notice, into the M41 Bulldog, and it worked pretty well because, uh, well, I think uh, HE rounds on this gun is absolutely fantastic, and uh, five rounds of them is is about the correct amount you really need. So I'm watching who can who can actually shoot me. I, I did get hit by the Bulldog, and I don't want to get un unloaded by him, so gotta be careful. But he, he seems like he's gone away, but anyway, uh, seems like IS7 doesn't want to engage me. So, okay, T62A, I gotta help out our own T62A here. Um, he is in deep shit, and uh, we're gonna just plant shot after shot after shot into him. And uh, by the way, guys, uh, is any of you going to Tank Fest? Otherwise, this year I might be going to Tank Fest on my own, uh, since you know, uh, various reasons. Uh, people can't make it, so I might have to go down my own. And if I can have um, one of your, one of you guys uh, to talk to, then it would be nice. But otherwise, uh, I guess I had to find another way to find uh, somebody to uh, talk to during tank fest. But anyway, uh, it would be nice to see some of you there. This AMX uh, was actually a very nice to me. He did not ram me, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I kind of felt quite lucky there. Didn't really get hurt, and. Uh, he does get executed. No, no, I mean not AMX, the Fosh. What am I talking about? Yeah, thanks to the Fosh. The Fosh wasn't um, relentless on the ram, so he, he did let me survive. And uh, yeah, this tank is absolutely fast, uh, fast as you can see, 80km, no problem. Now, I do have four rounds of uh, heat, which I am going to use against an IS-7. And I never actually. This, this is actually the first time ever I have, I have actually ever used a heat round uh, properly. So as you can see, the heat round are ultra good, even against IS-7. So look, I I am I am choosing the uh, the correct beaks 
of the IS-7. Now you cannot shoot that beak because that's angled a, 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 away from you. The lower plate are a little weak, but look at the angle here. You're not going to be able to get a flat, uh, perpendicular angle there. So most likely the source of penetration will be around the tip of there and uh, on to the right side of what we're, we're, of where we're looking at the left side of the IS-7 on his terms. So we'll see. Yeah, that shot did go in nicely. Now, don't poke again because, you know, IS-7 probably can snapshot you with his Russian accuracy without aim. So we wait until we are not spotted anymore. And, uh, in fact, I'm going to wait until the, uh, the E-100 engages him. So, another shot, possibly waiting for that shot, does connect to the tracks, uh, which wasn't that great. But anyway, second penetrating shot, nice. So, this shot, let's make it count. Come on. Ooh, don't want to squeeze the shot on the E-100. Ah, there, there's the shot we were looking for. So you can see it really trashes up the IS-7's armor. And uh, here you can see the E-100 is trying to get around the the IS-7. So I'm going to help him out a bit. I know I really can't pen him properly or reliably with my EP. So I just go for his traps. And uh, GG. I'm afraid E-100 is going to plant a nice big juicy shot into your ass. And it's all about helping your teammates sometimes to, quick, to make quick decisions for you to... Uh, to assist them, and also I did just get 800 assistant damage on him because I tracked him. So hopefully this video also showed you that you you can counter how you can counter the enemy team, and also help your team uh, to win more games. So hopefully this has been interesting, and uh, we shall see you next time.